Oh, morning again. The room is hot. My mouth is dry. But do not awaken, Bone too. Rest before your journey begins. The mouth of the river is close by. It's one of the main reasons why we settled here. But it's dried up now, so my walks are a little bit longer. Walking is good for the soul, though. I think. <laughs> In the afternoon, it's so hot no matter where you are. Whether you're inside or outside, you can feel the heat. Sometimes your body will be shaking as if there is fire all over you. I fell down once and landed on my back, near my backbone. It caused me a lot of pain. These long walks, they started to affect the wound. The stitches used to sew it up started to open. I should have stayed in bed longer to recover, but oh no, Bontu, you are stubborn. <laughs> Carrying these heavy jerry cans has started to affect my health too. I couldn't wash my clothes fast enough because I was weak. When the water was almost completely gone, I could only fetch a little bit to prepare food for my family. I always had dirty and washed clothes. I'm Bimbola and Andisa again, arguing like the children they once were. What is the problem now? Yes, yes, I'm sure I will see them again, fighting over the same silly things. During the summertime, Water is found underground, not above. After fetching from a spot for two or three days, the water becomes stagnant. And then my search continues. 
It's been some time since I have seen these beasts, but I have not forgotten the scars they left on Obasi. Not today, my friends. Not today. I will have to tell the children to be more careful when they walk to school. going to be challenging. Oh, it's very mucky today. Lots of bugs. But even worse things than bugs are hidden from me in the darkness of this water. Sometimes we need to boil the water before we use it, or the children will get sick. And that can be very expensive to treat. It costs money to see a doctor, and earning money is no easy task. I'm always looking for money. Sometimes I borrow money from people in my village. But with so many of us living there, there's never enough for everyone. But my friends are very generous. I wish the breeze was blowing more. When the breeze blows, it makes the heat easier to bear. to find some shed to rest. I remember being in school and feeling sick all the time. Because I was drinking unclean water at school, when I went home, I couldn't keep my food down. But for these children, there is hope.
one day they might have clean water and they will become teachers and politicians and scientists. They will be leaders. Maybe when my daughter finishes school, she will become a professor. She seems to really enjoy helping other children with their studies. Oh, there's a Dane. But where is his goat? If I had animals and I was well off, I would give an entire goat for water. But Adane, no, no, no. Never mind giving a goat as a gift. He cannot even keep a goat in his favor. <laughs> They are much worse than hyenas. Let's see if I can gather some information to report to the authorities. they are using. They drove here from the north. I bet they'll drive back the same way. I'll remember that face. And I think he'll be easy for the authorities to find. Now that is preservation. I need to be careful about whom I encounter on my journey. Some people have devious intentions, but thankfully, most are honorable.
My friend lives near a well her village has been using for hundreds of years. Her hands are as hard as stone from the rope she uses to get water, which is really good for making injera bread. <laughs> I guess this journey has not been challenging enough, Bontu. It's past midday now. I should find some shed and rest. Some of these women spend the night at the water so they can get first access. So for the moment, I wait. Almost there now. I must be careful of the leeches. This canister feels extra heavy today. Better take it easy. Perhaps I should rest in the shade a bit before I continue. My friend Josephine, the one with the well, her hands feel no pain anymore. But at first, her hands would bleed. Sometimes she'd wrap her fingers with rags to draw her water. I am glad those days are over now. Oh, this canister feels heavier than a Danish goat. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this heat is going to continue well into the night and the ground will be hot until quite late. Perhaps I should enjoy some shade again. Mm-hmm. 
M will not be pleased. Everyone thinks a monkey is cute until they eat your garden. I'd like to be a hairdresser one day. My friend Pella is a hairdresser and she's heard so many stories over the years. People love to talk while getting their hair done and I love to listen. I should get some more shade. Hmm, what are they looking for? These boys are very smart. They understand everything in class. But because of the lack of clean water, they can't work or study effectively. It's difficult to focus and learn if you are sick all the time.
The ground under my sandals feels more brittle and hot today than usual. Maybe it's always like this, but I never notice. The view is so beautiful. During the summer months, sometimes we dig holes in the floor of a dry water hole to find water. During droughts, we do the same. But in the winter, while it's raining, the streams are flowing, which makes things a bit easier. The wind is picking up quickly. I better be careful of sandstorms. I'm glad I made it through that okay. Because the water I fetch from the stream is contaminated, it would be difficult to treat my wounds. It's better to mix medicine with bottled water.
<sighs> this hill seems a lot steeper after a few hours of walking in the sun. Remember, Bontu, you're not so young anymore. Take your time. Almost home now. I wonder if my friends have arrived yet. I just want to see my village changed. I want everyone to have fresh water, good food, and a good life free from illness. These are my people. These are my family. These are my friends. It's so nice to see my friends again. I think I'll prepare some coffee for them to enjoy. First, I must put some beans into the pan. Now, I'll roast the beans to perfection. Better grind the beans perfectly next. Better pour some water into the pot next. Boil that water now.
time to mix the grounds with the water and let it steep. Now I'll place the pot and mugs carefully on the tray and serve my friends. Mmm, delicious. 